Yeah, it's got several days left till it hap it finishes. But I'm gonna. Get All right, it what do we need to do for the Halloween thing? It's two missions. Uh, uh they're nightmare mode, so I don't know exactly what they're gonna be. Nightmare. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh, don't worry, Bill. It's a level one to two sabotage and a level seven to eight sabotage. So they're really low level. And uh, so like I thought maybe you should probably do that one on your own. I'm fine, I'll do it by myself. I'll tell you how bad uh, it is. And then you, you can invite me and I can do it again. I don't know, just the difficulty sounds a little too much for my uh, taste. It just calls it a nightmare mode because I think it's in reference to Halloween. If it is a nightmare mode, it's not going to be that hard because I'm a rhino. Because Rhino makes it too easy. Oh yeah, because Nightmare... Well, depending on what the Nightmare is, it's either like, it could be either be no energy, or it could be no shield. Well, it's like half energy. Which is still enough for Iron Skin ones. Uh, if it, or it's the no energy one, where it's just a constantly drain your energy down to zero. Or it could be the one that's constantly ticking down your health, and it's like, oh, wow. But you gain back. Oh, uh, it's vampire mode. I think if you basically melee someone, you get your health back. So if you kill a guy, you get back health. But vampire mode's really easy. I uh, know. Also, just Valkyr really helps, though, with shields, because, well, she doesn't really have shields to speak of to begin with, so. Oh, I get it. Oh, God, this is actually. What? Uh, this is amazing. It's just a, it's a fog filled level. And we're running through it. We don't have any weapons. So it's just run through a fog-filled earth level. Full of infested. So it's trying to be creepy and scary and Halloween-y. Oh, what, they added in some horror things? It's not really horror things, but yeah, I guess that's turning the idea. I'm breaking pumpkins for some reason. I don't know why. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to get my renowned up. Okay, I'm gonna do the silly thing. We're gonna see what it's like being a um, vassal in um, for the Swadians. See if this guy actually just does nothing but make feasts, like everybody always memes about. Oh wow, this is actually really clever. So the idea is we need to find power cells that are hidden in the level. Oh shit, they sent assassins after me, Sam. I just punched a ghost out. Bill, I just punched out a ghost. Good for you? I don't know how, but I punched out a ghost. Apparently I'm popular enough to have assassins send at me. Awesome. Uh. Shit, where the fuck was I? Uh. Oh yeah. So yeah, I, I figured out why this thing is actually going to would be kind of hard. It's not actually difficult. I mean, I have low HP, but the enemies don't really do any damage. Mm -hmm. From what I can gather, it seems to be the entire challenge is just find the power cells you need. And you can't use abilities, but that's not really a big downside. Uh, but I have stupid people with me. Yeah, that will happen.
Wow. Dumbasses. Now what they do? One of them's downed. It, what it seems to me is that they ran through the level and didn't actually pay attention to anything, so I'm having to run back through the level in search of this goddamn power cell. I feel like I'm going to find it to the very beginning of the place. Possibly. Also, all those storage containers are pumpkins. That's cute. <laughs> okay, uh, no luck in the power cell so far. Oh, hey, I think they found the power cell at some point while I was running around all the way back to the entrance, but didn't say anything in the chat. Thanks, guys. Having no weapons, you'd think this would make this scary, but since they're low-level enemies, and I'm in Rhino, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, so the mode is you don't actually carry any weapons, or did you just choose to... Use no weapons in that mode. Uh, you have no weapons. That's the entire challenge. Oh, but dear. it's not like it's actually a problem because they're level one and two infested. Oh yeah. I can one punch. But are you able? To, are you able to do your damage abilities though? Still. Uh, no, but I can punch a crawler with my melee, and your basic melee option, you know, with your bare fists, still does good enough damage to kill level 1 and 2 enemies. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Uh Okay, well, that was a bit of a derailment on the quest. How many days do I even have on this quest? 39. We probably shouldn't um <sighs> Oh, holy shit, that's awesome. They give Lotus a Halloween skin for this. <laughs> like, she's red and things. Her background's red. It's kind of got this little evil thing going on, and it's great. It looks amazing. Fuck, don't you run away from me. I want to have a peasant woman so I can have a sister on my army. Fuck you. Get back here. Are you kidnapping <laughs> women? Recruiting! <laughs> Technically, they were already being kidnapped anyway. I, I was just rescuing. And then maybe possibly offering a position and. God damn it. Bill's just kidnapping women off the street. Uh... Bill, are we gonna have to have the talk again? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck, I really gotta focus on this task, though. I only got, like, 49 days. Unfortunately, just I have too many troops in my army right now, anyway. Probably should maybe cut down on some troops, but, eh. Prios doesn't help that I'm basically cheating on the funding. Oh, nice, I got the Day of the Dead sigil of that. Well, that's cool. Yep, that's the reward for doing the mission. The next one is a is a skin for the dread. Ah, oh, yeah. My favorite bow. Actually, the funny thing is, I think I've kind of basically made the dread bow kind of look a bit like the hero bow in one of the um, versions of it in, Zelda, in Legend of Zelda. I bet the dread you know the skin bow. will look great once I make it pink. <laughs> Day of the Dead plus pink. Mm-hmm. God damn it, nobody wants to fight me anymore now that I have like 36 um, troops in my um, army. Or at least we know. Um... Yeah, like it's this really nice crimson look. So they changed uh, Space Mom's look to this crimson look. 
They give her a red background. They change the light on the middle of her helmet to be red. And I know. They give her... Well, this is where the thing... And they gave her little uh, blood smears along the sides of her lips. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. Yeah. It's... It's spooky. I've seen... I think I've seen it before, though. Yeah. It's spooky, Space Mom. <laughs> now, did they do the hologram skin, though, or...? No, it's just that, rather than the hologram. It'd be kind of cool if they made it also have, like, the hologram effect if you already got that far in the story mode but I'm okay that they didn't do that mm-hmm yeah well, I'm, I th unfortunately it looks like until like um for tones out is when we'll um don't forget we also got the awesomeness that is the whole uh, we have you done the the newest quest where you get Paracesius, the new sword no I don't think so I'm yeah. behind in the story, man. All right. It's fine. Uh, yeah, you get a you get a sword blueprint, and it's called the Sentient Killer. Well, looks like I've. Oh, sounds like dinner's ready. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back later. Yeah, it's called the Sentient Killer, and it's specifically designed to murder sentients. Oh, so it looks like I might have pissed this guy off when I gave him his this message. Lovely. Anyway, I'll be back. I gotta go for dinner. Bye. It's a dreadnought jack o' lantern creature. Oh. So this is actually a slightly interesting puzzle boss, but it's also kind of boring. This just takes a lot of time, and it's come on, Jack or not over here. Bang, bang, bang! Well, this is why they don't give us any weapons, so this can actually be a difficult boss fight. Okay. That's a... That's a huge ass cloud. Yeah, fifty HP. Oh.
really a sabotage mission, is it? I do kind of like the entire gimmick of... Now that's pleasant. I'm going to mute my mic. Sorry for that, audience.